I mean, our audience, I think, when they heard you describe what aquaculture was, may have had one or two different reactions. Um, you know, on one hand, some may have felt, well, that's that's good. We're growing seafood away from wild fisheries, so we're not, um, you yeah. know, well well acknowledged problem of overfishing. And another part of the audience may have had this vision of very intense fish farms um, that obviously then have huge inputs required themselves to um, to actually um, continue to produce seafood. Um, but as you just said, the Nature Conservancy promotes restorative agri- aquaculture quite directly as a solution to things like biodiversity loss. I wonder if you could say a bit about how it how it does that, what, why you think it's an effective solution, solution and where it fits in the kind of group of solutions we need to some of these macro challenges. Yeah, well, I think I think um, stepping back a second, bigger picture on aquaculture, uh, we see it as important for two reasons as an environmental solution. One is creating needed alternative supply to wild fisheries, right? And you hit you hit that point. Uh, I think it's important for the viewers to know that ninety percent of wild fisheries now are either fully or overexploited. And the amount of seafood we're getting from wild sources um, has been flat for the past 20 years. And we need aquaculture to be there uh, when done sustainably to create alternative supply so we're not putting more pressure on these wild resources, on wild wild animals, essentially. The second reason aquaculture is really important from big picture is the resource efficiency of aquaculture compared to other forms of animal agriculture production. Uh, from a feed usage, fresh water, land use, and carbon emissions perspective, aquaculture does very, very well. Order of magnitude, uh, 10% or less uh, in any of each of those categories, less resource use than uh, beef or uh, pork production. So that's that's very important. But there's certain species of aquaculture uh, that we call restorative aquaculture species that are very unique and have uh, tremendous det- potential, not only to be sustainable, but actually help improve uh, the marine environment. So the species I'm talking about, species groups I'm talking about are oysters, bivalves, and uh, other types of bivalves like clams and mussels and seaweeds. And These organisms, they require no feed to produce, no land to produce, no fresh water, hardly any carbon emissions, but they actually can provide positive benefits to uh, the ocean environment, which is really quite unique. And when you say positive benefits, do you mean creating ecosystems that other life can live in and around? What what kind of benefits are we talking about? There's, there's several different restorative benefits of farming bivalves and seaweeds. Uh, one is water quality benefits. These are bivalves are filter feeders. Uh, a single oyster can filter up to 50 gallons of water per day. So they can actually remove nutrients that are in excess in our waterways, like nitrogen. Too much nitrogen in our waterways is a bad thing. It causes, causes something called eutrophication which disrupts coastal ecosystems. We need less nitrogen in those waters. By farming oysters, we filter that water, and by harvesting them, we can remove that nitrogen from the waterway. Seaweed as well, they're like a sponge. They suck up nitrogen. 60% of our waterways are suffering from nitrogen pollution. That's uh, pretty impressive. But beyond the water quality, there's also the potential benefits to habitat and biodiversity which is really uh, quite interesting. So these farms, when they're designed the right ways uh, and carefully designed, they can actually, they're actually living systems, right? This is more than just a structure of the farm in the water. These farms provide habitat for wild fish and crustaceans. Um, Actually a single hectare of these farms, a bivalve or seaweed farm can increase abundance of wild fish of up, up to five tons per year in the surrounding area, which is pretty uh, impressive. So we need more ways to create more habitat and create more fish. And these aquaculture farms, these bivalve and seaweed farms do play a role in that. Uh, But of course, it's not the only 
tool in the toolbox. And I think that got back to your other question about like where this sits. And uh, restorative aquaculture is an important tool. It meets this intersection of how do we recover oceans and provide food for a growing population? And I think it's quite valuable. But there's other things we need to do as well. 